for this question, it doesn't mention it. It doesn't mention anything that sounds like a reaction. No dissolving, no burning, no forming, none of that. It just mentions water and changing temperature. So we're going back to the very beginning of the unit. Water, changing temperature. I'm going to be using Q equals. Now, whether it's one step or multi-step, if you don't know, draw out the graph, the, mul the multi-step graph, to see. Starting at 10, going to 150, since it's water, the only other points I might care about are 0, the melting point, and 100, the boiling point. Between 10 and 150, I'm never going to encounter 0, so I don't care about it. I do care about 100, which is my boiling point. Because from 10, I can heat up to 100, but then it's going to boil. After it boils, it can heat up to 150. So I have to solve this problem in one, two, three steps. For my first step, step number one. For step number one, I am below the boiling point, above the melting point, so I know I'm dealing with liquid water. Change in temperature, because it goes from 10 to 100 in that step. Q equals MCP delta T. 17 grams, liquid water, the change in temp just for that step is 100 minus 10, 90. The second step is the boiling point. No change in temperature, it's a flat line, so I wouldn't want to use this equation. Instead, I want to use Q equals M, H, V, because we're at the boiling point. If we're at the melting point, we'd use H, F. Mass of water is still 17. H, V for water is 2260. You can pull the constants off of the chart that's given on the review and on the test. For step three, again, it's diagonal. We know there's a change in temperature involved, so MCP delta T. Still 17 grams. Since we just boiled it, that's what step two was, it was a liquid, but now it's a gas. So I want to use the CP of gaseous water, 2.02. And the change in temp for that step from 100 to 50 is just 50. I'm going to add, I'm going to calculate all of these and then add them together to get my final answer. 17 times 4.18 times 90. These are in joules. Anything starting with Q equals, all the constants I give you, the answers come out in joules. You can check the units that are in the chart if you forget. 17 times 2260. 17 times 2.02 times 50 gets me 1717. Adding these three numbers up, 1717 plus 38420 plus 6395.4. Adding them all together, I get 46532.4 joules.